Welcome back. My next guest says it's time to stop looking for what we want on the outside and start looking within. She has a very strong holistic background that she uses with her coaching, and she's the author of Becoming the One, a guide to discovering your true soulmate within. Please welcome Bonnie Bruderer. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. So we do do this. We're searching, searching, searching all the time for the answer outside. I mean, we rarely look inside. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I have been a coach and I've traveled all over the world and coached women in seven different countries. And what I realized is so many people look externally for happiness or a relationship to complete them and make them happy, when really it's what's in our heart and what's in our soul. And finding out what that desire is is what will truly bring us happiness in life. But isn't there a time, though, to, to look outside, though, for answers? I mean, it's, it's kind of hard sometimes to, especially in those moments when things are going, not going your way, to look inside. It is hard, and I think that that's where the true rewards come in life, is during those times when you can really find what's true in your heart and follow your passion, that you really can have happiness, even if things aren't going necessarily the way you would want them to in your life. So how did you get into this business? Oh gosh, I've been in the personal development industry for about 11 years. I've worked with some of the world's greatest. I worked with Tony Robbins for 11 years, um, Christopher Howard, a really hot speaker these days. And it's just been a passion of mine. I've read hundreds of books ever since I was a child on personal development, and I just feel so fortunate to be able to dedicate my life to helping other people and teaching them these, these skills. Were there times when you yourself had to go within to find answers? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, I actually, I had a personal experience. Um, I lost my mom at a young age, and I was blessed to be with her when she passed away. And in that moment, I saw her go from, you know, this person who taught me everything I knew in life, how to cross the street, how to tie my shoes, and then that person left the earth. And I just, it really shook every core belief I had had in my life. And I just had a quest from that point on to really understand, you know, what is truly important in life and how can I help teach that and help teach that message mm -hmm. to others. You say acceptance is about being able to love and validate who we are now. How do we do that? That's easier said than done, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, for so many years, you know, I've been a very goal-oriented person, and both myself and in my coaching. And so I've been an Ironman triathlete. I've you know, done all these really aggressive things, written books. And what I found is that when I truly was able to find success is when I would love and accept where I was right then and there. So I might have this big grandiose goal that was going to take a year to achieve, but if I could really appreciate, okay, why am I here right now and what steps led to me being in this place and just really loving and acknowledging and being gentle with myself and teaching all of my clients to do the same, that's when I was able to effortlessly and easily go into my goals. Well, tell us about your, uh, I think it's called One Coaching Program that you developed, is that correct? That is yeah. correct. Yeah, the One Coaching Program is a coaching program to teach women to really live a life of inspiration. So first what we do is we really decide what is true in your core, in your heart. And I do that by developing a soul statement with them. So I can share mine with you today okay. just so you have an idea. So I have an idea what a soul statement is. Yeah. yeah, it's a sentence or a group of sentences that ring true to your heart. So mine is the purpose of my life is to have passion, health, and happiness and to spread love and joy to others. Does it always start with the, the purpose of my life, with those words? Yeah. Uh, usually? Okay. So yeah, that's what I encourage. And from there, you know, over the last 10 years since I created that, I've done multiple things. I've lived in third world countries, I've owned a spa, I've traveled the world with Tony Robbins, you know, many different things. But if it was in line with my soul statement, then I was able to find happiness and fulfillment while doing it. And what are the steps of the program? The next one from there, once you really realize who you are at your core, is to... I ask women, what would you do if you had a magic wand? If you could do anything possible with your life, what would so that really be? really think outside the box. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, at first it's a bit of an uncomfortable question for people because they say, oh, I'm fine, yeah. I have what I am. it's okay. I'm happy where I am. But once you let go of that and you realize, you know, what would I do? What were my childhood dreams? What did I want to achieve before, you know, the world or somebody told you that you couldn't do what you really wanted? And from there, I take a look at where they are now versus where they would be with that magic wand life and create a set of steps or actions that they need to take to help close that gap. And these, these are things they're writing down? I mean, are, they, uh, are you writing yeah. these, these down all, all along the way? Yes, okay. yeah, you really identify, okay, where are you on a scale of one to 10 now versus with the magic wand? And then we create steps to move you okay. closer to that life. Even if you take one little step, you know, today that 
gets you closer to there, it's, it's definitely progress. Okay, so we've got the soul statement, and then the if you had a magic wand life, and mm -hmm. then what's the next step? The next step is to create a visual representation. So I encourage people to make dream boards or vision boards, and I brought one of mine today to share with you. Great, great, I'd love to see it. Yeah, so what it is is a visual representation of all of the different things you want to attract into your life. So for me, I want to buy a, a gorgeous home <laughs> up in the hills in Sausalito and have it decorated. That is a gorgeous home. <laughs> <laughs> very zen-like. Yeah. Um, yoga is very important to me in my practice and having that balance no matter where I'm traveling in life. And a relationship is something that I'm really working on attracting into my life. So that's what this represents. And um, see Oprah there. Yes, <laughs> this is Oprah. I would love to go on her show. And um, then the last thing is just with the relationship, I want to have a lifestyle that's international where I can be a world mm. activist and create an international family. Okay, great, great. Yeah. And so anyone can do this, right? Yes, absolutely. It's very easy. You can pick up the tools at any you know, local convenience or drugstore. And um, you just put visual representations and pictures of what you want to attract into your life. Now you have a uh, Becoming the One event coming up in Costa Rica. What is that? I do. It's a week-long program where I teach all of the tools that we've talked about today, and there's even additional tools in the book. And it's really a week to pamper your body, mind, and spirit. We have a lot of outdoor stretches and activities. Um, we do one thing that's really powerful, which is called Remembering Forward. And what that is, is in addition to the vision boards, that's just kind of a spoken um, a spoken game that talks about all the goals you want to attract into your life. And what that is, my best friend and I went to Coogee Beach in Australia a couple of years ago and we sat on the rocks and we did a little ceremony of what we wanted to release in our lives and what we wanted to attract. And then we created the game called Remembering Forward. And you just talk about all of your hopes, memories, and dreams as if they've already happened. Ah, okay. Yeah. So she began to talk about when she fell in love and met the man of her dreams. And I talked about when my book hit the bestseller list and I went on the Oprah show and then they came to our house <laughs> for dinner. And I love it. So I love it. So all of those things. And what happens is after you play that game, you go on into your life and you act as if those things have already happened. And then you automatically start attracting them in. So because it is really like the law of attraction, really. Absolutely. Yeah. You're putting yeah. it out there and it comes to you. Mm -hmm. And I can guarantee you actually flew in last night. I got in a little bit after midnight coming from Amber's wedding in Mexico. And that was what she manifested on that wow. rock. So wow. these things do work. So and I'm here today. <laughs> so they do so come they true. They do come they true. Do. And yeah. so Becoming the One, uh, that's in, in Costa Rica, correct? It is. Yeah, okay. It's in a beautiful eco-resort. Uh, yes. Lucky you. You get to go to Costa Rica. Yes. <laughs> you should come. <laughs> I should. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and, uh, you know, just reminding us that, yes, I mean, we can learn things outside of ourselves, but there's a lot to be learned and a lot we can learn from the inside. Thank you. Thank you.